it's really not about connections. It's not about, I mean, it is to a certain extent, but I think that like, it's most important that you develop a team that like trusts you and you trust each other and that like you have a, you have a system to at least like build around. Um, because personally I've seen so many artists and so many musicians and writers come up without, you know, the best top connections or the best experiences, including myself. So like, it's really just like, it's about finding those people and staying true to, to whatever you're, you're trying to accomplish. I feel like finding the right people is super important in the journey and, and, and making sure that you're all on the same page. Um, communication is so key in, in running any type of like, I mean, I hate to even call it a business cause it's, I mean, it is a business, but I think that like, it's really important to, to just communicate, like over communicate so that expectations aren't like, you know, expectations are that like you are communicating and that you're like on the same page and that you're both or however many people are involved are, are on, on your page. I mean, I think when I met my manager, Jeremy, there was sort of an initial, not like uncertainty, but I certainly wasn't, well, I guess it was sort of an uncertainty, of, you know, whether or not like I could trust them and like we were on the same page. But I think that like over time, we sort of developed a relationship where there was a really, really good communication between the two of us. And I think that like so many insecurities and so many issues that kind of arise when you're when you're in the the art world or like any type of world in general like when you're creating things is this like this insecurity of just like can I trust this person are we on the same page like what what are they doing that I don't like or what am you know what are what am I doing that like they don't like so I think yeah when I met my manager it was like we we just continued to just be honest with like our feelings about things you know like I've never been a super like I feel like I am sort of a competitive person but only like with myself and so like it's like it's like finding the those people who are just like giving you honest feedback but then you can also take that honest feedback and ask follow-up questions or like be like okay like is this the right thing you know is this the way that I should be doing this and but then also knowing your limit and being like no like this is me you know this is not the so-and-so show this is my show you know and so like it's having that it's having that like calibration, you know, with like, do I know myself, but then am I also willing to take feedback? It's the perfect balance between those two things when you're finding a team and, you know, a relationship that, that you can communicate at, 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 at the best capacity. So if you're doing this, like find the people that you can trust, find the people that give you honest feedback and that you trust have your best interests because like so much of that process gets muddy when there's ulterior motives you know ulterior motives are the devil when it comes to you know um finding the right people because they they have to be on page you know you have to be on page